cops, they can't understand. We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. I told you to beat it. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been... A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. This handle will be perfect for the winch.
It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Damn, I broke it. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Who's back? Did you miss us? <laughs> I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening? I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business? What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink, and we'll take care of the bootleggers. I'll be back. Take your time. We're going nowhere. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Treat us like this. The wind and the doctor. Blow, what did he say? What can I get you? What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. What would you say to a deal? Your bottle for a service. It's five dollars for everyone. Including you. Are you sure? Certain. I guess I'm that desperate. I'm not judging you. 
That'll be all for now. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. So, have you got what we asked you for? Look what I've got. You're a good guy, you. Follow me. <clears throat> Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey. Where are you going? I'd hope for your sake that I didn't hear. No, no, it's not what you think. It's just that you sell your stuff at too high a price. You got it coming. You don't like how prices is gonna cost you. Let's see. Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in. Understand, you're not sailors. It's a sign. You're back again. What can I do for you? Apparently, the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet, the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. You're back again. What can I do for you? I shall be on my so come You saw what happened with those sailors don't hang around here unless you want trouble with- It's a little le- Well, at least you're still here to talk about it. She must like you. Something like that. With that, please do excuse me, because I'd prefer not to be seen talking with you for too long.
Oh, yeah. He you didn't tell me that the warehouse... Because it's own... And I don't want... Now, please. You can't under... Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know, I know. Hmm. Nightmares. Can you... Do you like our song? <laughs> we may not... That's true! I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill, we're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see! It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Bye. What can I get you? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I've got what I need. Anything else? I read the article on the Miraculous Catch. Interesting local folklore. Don't get it into your head to repeat that round here. It's more than folklore. On that day, the crew of the Scylla caught an exceptional catch. The biggest whale ever caught. And they saved dock water from famine. Charles Hawkins owed you a lot of money. Do you know if he had problems? I don't know the details, and it's not my business. Money or not, he was always welcome in my bar. The Hawkins family was always much appreciated on the island. You seem to know Charles Hawkins. Well, she was a local somebody. We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. I've got one. Anything else? That'll be all for now. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Please, if my tongue got ahead of my senses, or, or something like that. Hey, tell him to calm down.
It's no use. The padlock won't give. Interested in the chat. I want to tan his hide. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. You're back again. What can I... I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. I shall be on my way. So come back. Back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! I have no idea what it says. Guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. Something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, 
you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I've got a few questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families? They were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we are gone. The old families? The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you, to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me, and I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity don't on him. Put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an old man. Oh, yeah. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? It smells as bad as it looks. 
Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? What happened here? Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do.